Hi and welcome to my channel. Today's topic is how to sleep better. Sleep deprivation can not only affect our physiological health but also our psychological health leading to decreased cognitive ability, decrease in performance levels, lack of concentration and also increased irritability. So this video aims at helping you improve your sleep quality. Without any further delays, let us start with the points, shall we? Number 1 stick to a sleep schedule this not only includes sleeping at the same time every night but also waking up at the same time every morning this helps strengthen our circadian rhythm which improves our sleep quality circadian rhythm is a natural process that regulates our sleep wake cycle when there is continued imbalance between our lifestyle and our circadian rhythm there is increased risk of developing certain diseases so it is important to maintain a consistent sleep-wake clock of the body. Second, physical activity during the day. I know I have talked about exercising in some of my previous videos also, but we can't just ignore this fact when we are talking about ways to improve our sleep quality. Exercising helps reduce stress or we can say that it helps you cope better with stress. But you can get these benefits only when you are exercising regularly. Third taking bath with lukewarm water experts recommend lukewarm showers 60 to 90 minutes before bed this gap gives the time your body needs to cool down afterwards while cold shower and hot shower may have their own benefits but when we are talking about taking bath at night to improve our sleep quality then temperature of the water matters and lukewarm water will be the right choice explaining it in a little more detail during shower our bodies become warm when we get out of the shower, water evaporates from our skin, cooling us down. This signals our brain that it's time to sleep. Fourth, avoid blue light exposure at night. Blue light emitted by a computer screen, TV screen, tablet, mobile phone interferes with the production of melatonin, hormone that controls your sleep-wake cycle. Normally, pineal gland in the brain begins to release melatonin after the sunset. But if we use blue light emitting devices till late in the evening or just before bedtime, it makes it difficult for us to fall asleep, which affects our sleep quality. It is recommended to avoid using any electronic device 1-2 to two hours before bed. Fifth, limit caffeine consumption late in the evening. Caffeine is a natural stimulant, mostly found in tea and coffee, but also in energy drinks and soft drinks, etc. It stimulates the central nervous system, making us more alert. Caffeine consumption late in the evening not only makes it difficult for us to fall asleep, but also affects our sleep quality negatively. You can replace drinks containing caffeine with something that can help you calm down. Maybe chamomile tea or warm glass of milk before bed, if it suits you. Sixth, sleep friendly environment. In this point, we will talk about the ideal environment you can create to fall asleep. Dim the lights or switch off most of the lights at least one hour before bed so that your brain knows it's time to sleep. This is because bright light in your house at night keeps you awake by suppressing the melatonin production. Eliminate any noises in the bedroom that seem to disrupt your sleep. Maybe you can play some relaxing music for half an hour before bedtime so that it can help you relax. By evening, clear all the clutter in your room so that it creates a calming environment. Seventh point, jot down what's on your mind. If you are someone who has a lot of thoughts while in bed about what all happened during the day or about things you need to do the next day, try writing these thoughts down before going to bed. When you have written down the things you need to do the next day, your mind will not keep on wondering about those things. Also, you don't need to worry about what if you forget something. So at the end I would say that you can also try some relaxation techniques at night like the 478 breathing technique which I have already talked about. I'll link it for you in the description box. This was all from my side today. You take care of your health. We'll see you next time. Until then, bye-bye.